Hi guys, in this video I will show you how the RCCB trip and protect and easy to okay to replace isolator with the RCCB. Ok guys, here you can see isolator in the right side and RCCB in the left side. This isolator is burned due to overloading. But the RCCB is brand new. I used it in this video. Sorry for the isolator. I think it is enough to explain in this video. RCCB build quality and finish is good. But isolator seems cheap. Of course isolator is cheap because you can buy 3 isolator for one RCCB price. But isolator doesn't protect you from overloading short circuit or when you touch live wire. Isolator is a switch for main supply. If you turn off the isolator, it disconnect both neutral and phase line and you can work safely. It doesn't have any automatic tripping, so it will only protect you whenever you manually turn it off. Ok, I think now you got isolator. Now let's move to the RCCB. RCCB stands for Residual Current Circuit Breaker. It also called RCD which is residual current device and also in some countries it is known as GFCI ground fault circuit interrupter now you can see the back side of RCCB box here you can see some instructions graph and also circuit diagram of RCCB in the circuit you can see the both base and neutral line disconnect whenever we trip off the RCCB or if auto trip so it is safe like isolator and can replace isolator with RCCB also in the instruction it says we can use it as main switch or isolator ok now let's go to the working of RCCB RCCB trip instantly if any imbalance occur in the neutral and phase current it working based on Kirchhoff's current law that is incoming current in the circuit must be equal to the outgoing current you can see the circuit there is three coils primary coil connected phase in and out and secondary coil connected neutral in, in and out sensing coil is connected to relay now the phase current and neutral current equal then it create equal and opposite magnetic flexes and whenever current leaks to the ground or the current imbalance then in primary and secondary coils create imbalance magnetic flexes and produce different current and it flows through the third coil which is sensing coil and it is connected into the relay and the relay turn on and trip the breaker RCCB can protect if a person come in contact with the live and neutral wire because the RCCB only trip whenever phase and neutral current is different but if a person only touch the live wire and the current goes through the person into the ground and neutral and phase imbalance occurs then the breaker trip instantly RCCB can't protect from overloading or short circuit it only protect the person from electrocution or any type ground fault here I connected 60 watt bulb but I only connected phase through RCCB neutral I just bypassed it into the direct supply without connecting through RCCB now when I turn the supply on let's see it should be turned off because of imbalance occur this RCCB is 13 milliampere sensitive it means that if 13 milliampere or more difference has neutral and phase current then only it trips as you can see that it tripped suddenly the bulb just only blinks little bit of course you don't want to deal with 213 volt it is very dangerous now I connected the bulb neutral and phase through RCCB without bypassing it and you can see no tripping bulb turn on now let's try with this 10 watt charger
as you can see it tripped instantly even the 10 watt charger doesn't allow to charge in a second it just trip instantly which is good now i connected charger phase and neutral through rccb and now i am going to press the test button on rccb then it should trip instantly this is how we test rccb it work properly or not you have to test it at least every month as you can see it trip when i press test button it is because when pressing the button phase current bypass without going through primary coil and imbalance occur and trip. You don't want to remove RCCB from distribution board to test it. Just make sure it has input power and should be turned on. It need power to trip. If it doesn't trip but it has input power then you need to replace it. Ok guys that's all in this video. If you like this video click the thumbs up and subscribe and if you have any questions comment down below. Thank you for watching.